G'day farmers and welcome back to another episode of Riverview. So this is my uh well first recording back since I've come back from Japan, so it's been about two weeks, so <laughs> gotta catch up on what we need to do. Obviously we need to get down to our sheep barn with the wool. Seems like I've got a lot of that going on. Uh let's have a look. So cows they're doing fine. Looks like halfway through reproduction. To be good, good to get some more cows up and going. Chickens, we've still got a bit of bit of food there. We'll need to get onto the eggs though some stage today. So we'll do that as well. Sheep. Uh food's looking alright. Uh ooh, we've got some sheep to sell, which is even better. Yeah, so that's all going good. Uh spinnery is working away. We could probably take a bit more wool down. I mean, we can store a heap in there. Like I said, I reckon it'd be close to a million wool that could hold. Um, greenhouse is going all right. We will give that another top up, though, some stage. Do need to get some tomatoes over in now. salad production. And our brand new sawmill. Looks like it's just about out of wood, so I dare say there'd be a bit of... Uh, a few pallets down there for us to pick up. So we could do that today and sell up on those to be good. So yeah, um, like I said, we, we can make a bit of money. we got the sheep to sell and it should have some pallets down there. Uh, do I need the weight? I'll take the weight. So yeah, we have some pallets of wood down there and we will sell those as we're going. I'm not really going to wait top prices for them like I said we need it all for all the uh, new houses that all the new uh, river viewing <laughs> citizens need but yeah I would also like to get on to purchasing a new field now let's see look let's look at what we got uh that one's got barley on it so that could be Good, that's already got chicken food on it. Pretty sure barley is there. So it'll either be 7 or 10. How much is that? 99. 72. Yeah, so obviously field 10 doesn't have anything on it, but we could put wheat on there. Uh, next month we can put some more wheat down. Or barley or canola. Oh, not canola. Or barley. Uh, what's the other one? Sorghum. Actually, sorghum's got a very, very small uh, growth rate on it, which is pretty good. But anyways, let's not muck around too much. We do have to get some more wood into the sawmill today. And, um, but yeah, that, don't worry. This is not going to turn into a big forestry series. It's just going to be like over the winter months, so from like December to roughly March, April when um, fields come back into working. That's when we'll, you know, give us something to do, a way to make a bit of money. Yeah, it'll be good. But yeah, we'll head down to the sheep farm, or the sheep field, and we'll go to sort out all the wool down there. And... Yeah, sell some sheep. Now, I think what we might do is we'll take down our um, forklift to the wood area and we'll sell up whatever's down there that needs to be dealt with good morning my wonderful woolen creatures alright so there's a bit of wool down here to move we'll get that sorted out first um, if we get time today I will fill up the low loader and make a delivery down into the spinnery but it's not that's not a priority so there's no need to rush too much. But I would like to try to fill it up two by two, like with it being together sideways sort of thing. Onto the low loader. I think that would work a lot better. Right. Ah, oh, yes, I've still got it. <laughs> I haven't lost it after the two weeks. Right, so I might put these... 
at the end here, get these filled up. Beautiful. Yeah, got a lot of wool. Like I said, we will do, when we, in April, when we sell the fabric, I will sell a load of wool as well. Um, there's no no point putting it all into the spinnery because the spinnery is only going to make a certain amount per year. So while it's good to have it in there so we don't run out and we're always producing, yeah, it's just we may as well make a bit of extra cash from the actual wool itself. So yeah, give me a minute. I'll get all this sorted out and then we'll head on down to our forestry area. Right, we've got one more pallet here. We will stick it. We've got a place for it, so we will take this. No doubt at 9 o'clock we're going to have more wool spawn out. Hopefully it doesn't fill it up, but uh, who knows. I think it has been a little while since we've uh, emptied it. Ooh. This will be interesting. All right, all done. So, yeah, out of interest, how many do we have? What? Two, four, six, eight. So, 16, 18, 20. Two, three, four, five. Two, uh, 32, I want to say. 32, another eight. 40 pallets, oh, geez. Yeah, so <laughs> selling a like a trailer load in April along with the fabric, yeah, we'll definitely do it. We are making way too much. We do not need it all. All right, let's go sell up some of our sheep. So where we got thousand dollars. So fifteen of you guys, fourteen thousand two fifty. Fantastic. Puts us on to 58, a bit over 58 and a half. Excellent. Right, so yeah, what I want to do is we'll take the forklift with us. I just, I don't think using the tractor and front loader is not going to be something you're going to want to see. <laughs> we'll need the, a little bit more of a delicate touch. So yeah, and now that we've got that front loader, we'll easily be able to take this around with us. Lower that down. Uh, this was another one of the um, benefits of having this front loader that I wanted. So yeah, so quite happy. Excellent. Turn that off. Let's strap her on. See, so much easier. Love it. Alrighty, let's head down to our forestry area and we'll see what we've got to sell. You know, I've just realised back in oh, many, many episodes ago when we planted all those trees, they're actually still in there. There's no way that area would have been that dense. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's not bad. It's going to give us a lot more trees to work with there. But... Right. So we do have quite a bit here to load up. Should be good. Really good, actually. We got four pallets of planks. Looks so like three long planks, two beams, and one prefab walls. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. So, yeah, we'll get it all loaded up. Let's have a look at um, sale prices and that, actually. Planks. Yeah, so, I mean, planks probably could be better, but we'll take it just be yeah. Like I said, I'm not going to be too worried about sale prices because most of these, between top dollar and bottom problem, uh, bottom dollar, is not a lot of difference. Oh, wrong boat. Uh, but here it looks like we got market stall, prefab walls, shop. Oh, so we might actually go shop. Again, not much difference there. 
Uh, and shop it. So shop for all those. Let's have a look back. Plank. Eh. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. So yeah, we'll take them all to the shop, which that'll be in our Twilight Market area. Which again, getting a bit of use out of, which is good. And yeah, we'll go make a bit of money. So give me a minute here. I'll get this loaded up. Uh, let's let's put it through a time lapse, eh? <laughs> Puts the pressure on me. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get this all lighted up and yeah, we'll go and make a bit more money. last a few walls i think we did too bad that time definitely made it a lot easier having the forklift so yeah we'll i do want to get the bigger manitou forklift so when we do end up getting that i'll have that up at the sheep sheep farm area and we'll we can leave this one down here because this one seemed to do pretty well with uh what i just did Right. So let's lift uh lift those up, strap it in. So we've got two thousand beams, one thousand walls, three thousand long planks, four thousand normal planks. Like I said, we'll pop down to the shop, that's at the Twilight Market there. And yeah, we'll go see how much money this will bring in. Actually a bit excited to see. <laughs> I mean, what? It was what, two trailers worth of wood we put in there. Yeah, got a few products. Should make, oh, should make at least one house, you think? All right, here we are, Jetty Road. Back at the markets. I'm, I'm glad we're actually starting to get a few things we can sell here. I like coming down here. <laughs> All right, oh. Oh, I want to get it all in at once. Oh dear, making a mess again. Right, we should be able to pull it in. Alright, unstrap it and start selling. So what are we at? What? 22 and a half? That's not bad. Not bad at all. So we're on just under 81,000. Wow. Uh, let's see. So we can buy that one. We've still got a little bit of change left over. Can't get that one yet. Hmm. You know what? I think we will get, get that one. I would like the different numbers. Aren't yeah, I would like Field 7. It's already got the barley on it. But we have a look. Barley won't be sold until then. So I dare say we should be able to buy that one once we sell the fabric and wool come April. And then we'll still be able to harvest the barley. Then we can stick straw on it, but that should give us easily enough food for a whole year with the chickens. All right, so I'm going to go back down. I'm going to pick up the forklift. Bring it back up to the sheep farm because I did just get a notification that we're full of wool again. So we'll have to get that sorted out. Then we'll pop up, buy the new field. Then we might run the cultivator over it to get it all ready. 
because um, next month, I believe it was, March, we can plant some more wheat. So that's the plan. I will see you at the back at the little sheep farm there. We'll get that wool sorted. Okay, so we're back. And look at all that wool. Got a couple of double ups there too, which... Oh, well. <laughs> so much wool. So yeah, one thing I might do is we'll load up the trailer with uh, quite a bit. Um, might actually detach the tractor. Yeah, I think it might just be in the way a bit. Yeah, we'll load it up. Uh, if I do have time today, because we won't need the trailer anymore today, but if I do have time um, in the afternoon, I'll run it down to the spinnery. If not, first thing next episode, we can do that before we go check out the wood. I don't know if we'll get any time to do any tree chopping today, but I'm hoping so. Another 20,000 odd tomorrow would be rather good. So, uh, like I said, I'll uh, get as much as I can onto the onto this trailer now. Get that all ready, and then what we'll do is we'll pop up to the farm, buy the new field. Oh, again, <laughs> more and more just came out. Wow! Uh, buy the new field, and we can get on and give that a cultivate. So give me a second, I'll get this filled up and then yeah, we'll go and get that started. Right, this is the last two from the spawn area. Now it hasn't filled up the trailer, but I will leave it because once we come back, there will be more in the spawn point. And if there's not enough, we'll just take the rest from the main pile we've got under the shed there. So it's got quite a bit on here though. So we've got what? Four there, four here, eight, uh, ten, twelve, fourteen already. So <laughs> it doesn't take long. Yeah, like I said, I reckon there'll be more spawn or more wheels spawn before we do end up taking it down. Right, so we'll just touch back up. Oh, nah, we'll just throw the. We'll put the straps on. So don't want that to go everywhere in case we knock it, which is very likely. Right, that should be good. Fantastic. Right, let's head up to the farm. We'll go buy that new block of land, which also comes with the little shed there. So it'll be somewhere we can store our uh, combine. Yeah, we'll go buy that and we'll start cultivating. Right, so I've just got the cultivator attached. Now, I don't actually know if we need to cultivate it. Let's squeeze through the fence here. Uh, doesn't look like it, eh? Oh, well. Bonus, <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, it is full of weed, but that... Should go once we run the cedar over it, maybe. Hmm. Or should I just cultivate it? Let's have a look on the... Uh... So, yeah, it has been cultivated. Hmm. I don't quite know... All right, so I will buy it. Uh, let's go in that one there. So we got 72,176. Beautiful. Leaves us with not much money left, but hey, it's a new field. It's going to be some more wheat, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's have a look up in specials. Got that new Volvo tractor. Other than that, nothing I really need or want yeah i would like to get a sprayer for that field that we got the weeds on but 
Yeah, I can't justify it just for one build. Possibly a one time only use. But no, no what I'll do is I'll put the cultivator back. We shouldn't need it. I'm hoping the weeds will go once we run the cedar over it. But yeah, we'll find that out next month. Uh, I'm gonna get the. We'll put attach the soil sampler, and we'll go down and get the soil samples off that field. Get that all done, and then we can head over. Oh, I do want to move the eggs, but oh, I really don't want to use the tractor. Might have to. Yeah, we'll do the eggs then. We'll go down and do a little bit of forestry work, build that sawmill back up so we can generate a bit of money next month. Alrighty. Good old soil sampling. I think all these fields up here should be pretty decent fields, to be honest. By the looks of it, it'll be the sandy loam and... What is it? Loamy sand or... Just normal loam? I don't get that. Sandy loam and loamy sand. What's the difference? <laughs> there might be a difference though. But yeah, it will give us three fields to harvest this coming or this year. We'll get this one in March, so it should be a little bit later than the other fields. But yeah, it should be definitely enough wheat for the chickens having the three fields then we can end up getting that other field below it's got the barley already on it well we'll easily be laughing definitely no reason why there wouldn't be enough for the chickens oh am I going to miss a little bit have I yep I have I can't I can't not have it. <laughs> Alright, so give me a minute. I'll get these last couple of samples taken. Then we'll see how that comes out. Alright, last one being taken now. All done. Let's fold it up. Send it off. Fantastic. Shouldn't be much more than a couple of grand at the most. Ah, beautiful. Let's see what it's come out as. Very good. So, yeah, a lot of sandy loam, a little bit of loamy sand. Yeah, very nice. All right. So, yeah, that's what five fields we own now. Moving on up. This should be a good year for us to get a few more fields. We'll get seven next. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on 13 here. But, yeah, we can start growing quite a lot of wheat and get a lot in storage. Then we can think about getting the grain mill, turn it into some flour. Alright, so all that's done. Let's stick the front loader on and uh, let's see how we go with these eggs. <laughs> God, I really need some more um, forklifts. They just make life so much more easier. Alright. Come on, eggs. Um, actually, I might take these... If I can get that front one here and then join it up with the other front one, I think that might be a little bit more sensible. Uh oh well, They're very clucky today, aren't they? Oh dear, what's going on here? We're not... Don't seem to be getting it, getting onto it. Oh, there we go. Didn't have the tongue held right. Right, so what I'm hoping is you can get over here with these and I can pick up the other four as well. Uh, I don't like how we're into those, though. Well, not the other four, but the other two. We'll make it into a four stack. And we can go put it into cold storage. Get them out of the sun. Winter's almost over, so we should probably get them into the fridge. Nice. Not bad. Right, so I'll clean up these other, I'll grab those other two there with those two. Get them all into the cold storage and then... Yeah, I'm pretty, oh, we might go have a look at the greenhouse before we do head down to the forestry. 
we do we do still have plenty of time so yeah and i want to get these jobs done during winter all right so this is the last of them so what we're already up to eight pallets and i'm pretty sure it was december for selling time i should know by now <laughs> I suppose got a few different saves going and uh, it does uh, do tend to forget at times right ah, let's get off the wall no nah, I'm just going to put it next I was going to put it on top but it's not going to work There go. Oh dear. Nothing's ever easy with me and eggs. <laughs> Love them, but they just don't like to work for me. There we go. Right. So that's eight. Um, right. That's done. We'll go head up to the greenhouse and we'll see what we got going on up there. Oh, right. Wow. All right, we got a lot, <laughs> a lot of produce. That is actually very good to see, especially the tomatoes. We definitely need them. Ah, I am just not going too well today with the front loader. All right, so we can get these in. We can get some more salad started. So yeah, that salad ended up being pretty good, eh? I think it was just a bit under 10k we got. That oh, was definitely... Definitely a good little money grabber. Ah, uh, come on. I really do have to fix that bump as well. I keep saying it, but... <laughs> really do have to do it. Alright, give me a minute. We'll get all this in and we can check out the... Uh, the info page. Okay, last couple of pallets of tomatoes. Oh dear. Let go. There we are. So, how are we looking now? Uh, let's wait till they're all in. We get to 2,000? Ah, just under 2,000 litres. All right, so it's looking a lot better now. Um, one and one to make the two salad, so yeah. I reckon a couple more months, we should at least get to, uh, be able to work through the last that lettuce. Anyways, good o good I do want to also get a, a olive and grape farm in, or greenhouse. Not so much for the olives, more for the grapes. And then we can... Because, yeah, I don't think it's really justifiable buying that. Oh, I mean, we could... No, nah, we're not having a vineyard or anything, so... Yeah, buying that the great production point, where we can just do it in there, it'll be on a smaller scale anyway. We're only going to be using the uh, greenhouse. And mainly, it's just to get the grapes to turn into raisins. So yeah, we'll just use that little production we've got. Turn in raisins, and then once we've got our... Uh, oh, we want oats, don't we? We can make a bit of cereal. Be good. We do need sugar, though, so... Uh, that's going to be the expensive part. Doing the sugar beet harvest. Actually, now that I've been talking about it... If we look in here, beets... So, foliage needs to be, I think we need these two, don't we? That's to cut the foliage, and then that one is to pick them up. Which doesn't hold a lot either, so it will need to be emptied quite often. But really, that's not too bad considering what it's hundreds of thousands for these fellas. So, yeah. 
We'll be looking at 100 and 120 something. I think that'll be the way to go. Anyways, let's head down to the forestry area and we'll cut down a few trees, get that sawmill topped up. What I'm thinking of doing though is when we're cutting down, the very first six meter length, I'm going to put that in a separate trailer and we'll sell those to the sawmill because they're the most desirable length, even though you know it has got the most amount of liters in it. But we'll sell them up, keep ticking over that money. <laughs> It's all about money. And they will fetch about probably, I'd say, 10, 12k a trailer. And then all the other bits we'll put into our sawmill to turn into the planks and boards and uh, walls. So I think that's what we'll start doing from now on. But yeah, we'll head down there and uh, yeah, we'll see you down there. Get into work. Okay, so time to get some splinters. <laughs> all right. We'll get uh, we'll get this trailer attached. So yeah, like I said, all the first first lot of pieces, so on the thickest part of the tree, we will leave and sell on their own. But everything else we'll put in here and we'll get producing. So yeah, give me a minute cut these down get them cut down to size and then we can do a bit of loading so that took a little while <laughs> but we got what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah blocks of about 12 trees worth so very good what i'll do is we'll start by loading up all the smaller bits well they're not all small, but yeah, all the bits that are, you know, not, um, not that first, lo uh, log. And by first logs, I mean like, you know, this big boy here, the six meter, 870 kilo. <laughs> They're big ones. So yeah, we'll just start by loading up the rest of them. We should get, probably get two trailers of the small bits and then hoping to get one trailer or get all the red big pieces in one trailer but yeah we'll see how we go yeah hopefully soon though i'd like to be able to get that volvo wheel loader so we can get the really like the decently sized um log fork you see yeah, that that is just a beast <laughs> pick up like three or four bits of those big ones at one time although yeah, the weight does get a bit much for it but yeah it's all good so yeah, let's get this loaded up we'll run through a time lapse get this done and yeah we'll see where we are once it's all collected Okay, so by the looks of it, we got the last two of the non burst bits. <laughs> I'd like to say it's smaller bits, but some of them aren't that small. So yeah, we've got one more over here. The rest are all the the very first trunk. So we'll get those and we'll sell them off to the either sawmill or the eating plant. Whichever one pays them more. 
Yeah, it's not too bad. We've, I think we've got in about 20,000 litres so far. Which is good. I think on that last episode we got about 12,000 litres in or something. So yeah, quite, quite a bit more this time. But yeah, it also has taken us quite a bit longer. But that's all good. We didn't really have anything else to do today. And yeah, I was arming and arming about it, but I think I would like to buy a harvester. A tree harvester, so... It won't be this year, because they just cost a lot. Unless they come up on with a really good special. Oops. But what we'll do is, for next winter, we'll make that uh, something we work towards. And then, yeah, we can get that to cut down our lengths for us nicely. Put them in individual piles and, yeah, should be good. Right. So there we go. So 32,000 litres in there, which is pretty good. Now, I'm not too sure I'm going to be able to get all of them in the one trailer. So I might connect that other trailer up. That way, there is going to be a few more. We'll be able to just yeah, throw it in. But question is, can I get it backed up onto it? Oh, that's looking pretty good. Look at that. Like a pro. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go about there to start with. Back in our little bobcat. Yeah, it did feel like it took a little while to get through it though. I suppose it's 11 trees. Was there 11? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. yeah definitely a lot of wood in there now. So that'll go um, over the next month. That should make quite a lot of products for us. So yeah, we'll get this filled and then we can take this up to the sawmill area, get that sold and I reckon that'll just about to be us done for the day. Oh boy, some of these are big logs. Look at that. Doesn't even want to let go. <laughs> there, got one more. There, it was just a bit more than one full load. So 11 trunks we should make. I'd dare say about 15k. Be quite nice. But we will check out before we leave where where it's going to give the most. No. Alright. Actually, we probably should do the right thing and sit this undercover. Don't want it sitting out in the snow all night. Yeah, I wonder how many wood chips we got there as well. It's looking like it's getting quite a bit there. And the other thing is, how do we get... Oh, turn that off. Uh, we got... Oh, 13, 13 litres of wood chips. Really? Surely not. Surely not. Zero. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure out how this wood chips works. Like, do we have to pick them up with a bucket? Or can we come somewhere and maybe if we back up in here with the trailer, press that? I wouldn't think so. Yeah. But yeah, I know wood chips do. We do get a decent amount, don't we? If I can, I can never find them though, that's the problem. Wood chips, wood chips, wood chips. There it is. So yeah, 544, January. The month of selling that seems to be. So we're really, we're going to have to start pretty soon keeping January free. Because a lot of our products we sell in January. Alrighty, uh, strap these in. Um, and we do want to look price of wood so we got 
Uh, yeah. Basically the the basic sawmill. Right, so we'll run up to there, give that sold, make, hopefully make quite a nice amount, because like I said, they are the biggest part of the tree and they do tend to give you the most. And then, yeah, reckon by the time we get back to the farm, that'll be our stunt today. Alrighty. So yeah, I'm hoping, geez, I'm really hoping for like 15k would be nice. Would be really good. And I don't see why we couldn't. Like I said, we've got no small pieces in there. All nice big pieces. So yeah, I'm re really hoping. Alright, so it's stop, stop, stop. Oof, it does take a bit. Let's unstrap these two. Okay, fingers crossed. Show me 15k. Oh, yeah, uh, well. <laughs> I was asking for a bit, eh? But... I reckon with both of them full, we're probably looking about 18k. Yeah, it's, it's not bad, but like, I shouldn't complain. Well, yeah, pretty much done. So next episode, uh, I did notice as we went past the sheep field, the wolves just about full again. Surprise, surprise. So we'll have to get on to that. First thing though, next episode, we'll um, plant the wheat in our new field. We need to give it a roll, fertilise, uh, and a weed as well. So we'll get all that done first up, which will be a good half of the day. Then we can go sort out the wool, take a load out to the spinnery, get that topped up. Um, what is it, March? We may, it may even load up the loader again, ready for April, and then we can go sell a load of wool as well as the fabric in April and then yeah once we've done the field and the wool next month then we'll get in we'll sell up whatever products we got down at the uh, our sawmill and yeah cut down a few more trees get that topped up April will be a little bit busier for us but I don't think we'll have any harvesting Let's have a look. Harvesting might be till at least July. Yeah, so March, April, still have a couple of months. But what I'm thinking is if we can get our hands onto that barley field, this one here, let's go back to crop types. I'd like to have this grass on too, but uh, yeah, if we can get our hands onto that barley field, that would be great. That'll be, that'll be four fields, all chicken feed. But what I'll end up doing is just putting all the wheat into the chicken coop. Barley will probably just store for now. That can be like our backup. Yeah, so far so good. We're coming along. Obviously doing this uh, forestry work during the winter is going to help us out a lot, especially money-wise. But it's what we're going to need. We're, gonna, we're getting to the point now where we're going to need to start upgrading our machinery get some better tractors i want to get some some trucks i've got a few trucks on here i want to get and yeah and to buy more fields we definitely need more fields <laughs> always need fields so yeah, i think that'll do us it's getting cold that snow is a real bugger so yeah, let's park it up here and we'll call it a night yeah, it's still getting too dark. We can't do our little say our goodbyes many places when it's like this. <laughs> it's alright. Might have to put a few street lamps in that up here. Go well with everything else. Alright. Really appreciate you coming, guys. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, it's good to be back. Don't forget, I'll uh, be back to streaming every weekend now. Uh, Sunday, Sundays. Get through the Western Wild stream series and uh, yeah. I did mention on the last stream that um, I am looking to do a bit of a competitive multiplayer thing starting soon. So if you are interested, join up on the Discord. Looking for probably about four people maximum. And yeah, should be good. I like the idea of it. Anyways, as again, thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. And I will yeah, see you on the next episode. Be good to be good at it. And I'll see you then. Cheers.